Well, hello guys and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll create the fourth spinner, which I'd like to call a ball in a box. So let's do that. Simply define new div and in here, let's give it an ID of spinner four, like this. And we also need to define a div for the ball, right? So div and let's give it an ID of ball like this and close the tag so right now we want to style it a bit and the idea is that we have a box and inside the box we have like a ball that is like turning around so sorry this this should be box not ball yeah <laughs> i messed up i was thinking ahead so yeah in here let's give give it an id of spinner four and let's give it a bit of style so I'll just give some margin, so margin top, let's give it like 200 pixels and margin left, yeah margin left and let's give it like 400 pixels, like this and hit save. So right now you can see any change, right? So what we will do now is define the box, so that's the easy part. So box it will be just some width and height so let's give it a width of 150 that will be good for counting and the height of also 150 like this and also let's give it a background color so that we can see it right so background color and it should be yellow yellow like this and right now we should see it and we do there's a box so also let's give it a position of relative relative like this okay so right now what we will define is two pseudo elements well first of all we will define only one so that will be the ball so box and in here after so this will be the our ball so first of all we will just write content and that will be empty then we will write the position that will be absolute like this then we will write the well it should be a ball so border radius like this and that should be 50 percent and also some width and height so Let's give it a width of, for example, 25 pixels. That may, might look good. And the height will have the, the same value. So 25 pixels. And let's see. Yeah, we, we cannot see anything. Just that. So the top will be 50%. So that it is in, in like the center. So in the middle of the box, right? And the background color will be greeny yellow, right? So background color, not clip, but color will be greeny yellow. Green yellow, like this. So right now we can see the ball. And it's a bit under the middle, right? So yeah, that makes sense because it have 25 pixels, but I moved it by 75 pixels down so what i need to do is move it by only by only 62 well basically by only 40 percent because 25 25 pixels is just 20 percent from 150 if i'm right one two three four five six so no but yeah that, that should be good enough yeah it's pretty much in the middle so 40 percent let's keep it this way and uh, yeah so that's the that's the ball so right now let's define the animation actually so this is the hard part so it will be just keyframes and let's call it ball in box <laughs> so it pretty much describes what it does ball in box and at zero percent 
we wanted to start at the same position, right? So transform and it will be translate x and we will pass zero pixels and we also want to translate i and we will pass once again zero pixels like this and hit save okay then by the time of well we have four moves right that we need to do we need to go up then in here then in here and then in here so there are four moves and 100 percent divided by four makes 25 so by 25 percent we want the ball to be moved by so we want the ball to be moved by it have 25 pixels this whole thing have 150 so by the half of 125 that's just 62.5 pixels so we want to move it by 62.5 pixels in both directions so in the x and in the y axis so 62.5 and in here i will just write the same thing so 62.5 and i will also add the animation to the ball to the box after element so that we can see it as, as we're writing right so animation and it will be ball and box it will be like i don't know two seconds linear and delay will be just zero seconds and it will be infinite so let's see yeah great so it goes down and exactly to the middle right so then what we want to do is move it so at the time of 50 percent of the animation we want it to be moved by the x-axis to 150 right so we need to move it by the whole width well no no the whole width the size of the ball the whole width minus the size of the ball right so that's 150 pixels minus 125 pixels so that's just 125 and the i should be zero so like this yeah and it goes in there so great that's great so right now we will define the 75 percent and it will be just once again i will just copy and paste it and in here we will write 62.5 because we want to get back to the middle of the box right by the x-axis so that means this axis but on the i-axis we need to go to minus 62.5 right hopefully that makes sense it's a bit of a math to work with but it should make sense i believe yeah so that, that works that's great so we have a ball in a box that's just bouncing around and it looks quite cool right so right now what we can do is all kind of fancy stuff with this but what i will do is add a basically something like shadow effect so i will define the second pseudo element so I'll just copy paste it because it's faster and in here I will write before and it will have the same color the same animation but it will have a opacity so opacity and let's give it 0 0.7 so that you can see it and let's give it a delay of 1.2 well 0 0.2 seconds obviously so let's see yeah and there is the ball kind of chasing the first one so that's a bit of a too much delay we want to change it to 0.1 so yeah right now it's a bit closer but maybe even further so 0.0, 0 well not the second point like this so 0, 0, 0.05 and right now it looks quite cool right now it looks like the ball is moving really fast and it have like shadow so that's great i will just change the opacity to like even further so for example 04 let's see how that looks 
Yeah, you can barely see it, so I'll just move it like 0 0.5 at least. Yeah, that looks better. So that looks the best in my opinion. So basically this element will is the is the shadow that you can see behind the ball. Hopefully you can see it. It's not like some, something dramatic, but it it is like a nice effect, right? If you want to see it more, you can always change the opacity or you can change the delay. So for example, to zero dot seven, right? You can you right now you can definitely see the ball more. But yeah, you can always play with that. It's up to you. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or like if something isn't working, feel free to ask and I will see you next time.